Welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over a prototype uh, sort of image capture thing. This is fairly similar to, well, it hopefully will be fairly similar to Seth Bling's Polaroid data pack that he made a while ago. Uh, but this one generates images using the new uh, colored text feature that we got for 1.16 in Snapshot 20 Week 17A. Um, <clears throat> and using that, I can sort of generate an image based on uh, just ray casting in game. Now, right now, this doesn't actually uh, generate any color except for black and white. Uh, this is the scanning. Uh, you can sort of see the particles are where it hits blocks. This is just here for debugging purposes. Um, let me actually... Uh, so that right there is the, the scanning portion of it. Uh, let's watch that again from a sort of a different perspective. As you can see, there's particles that are rendering way out there. And it's all sort of converging in on where I was standing. Because I, I summoned two entities. One, ent one entity keeps track of where I was looking. And then another one uh, is sort of behind it moving in sort of a scan line. I, I, I have like uh, an entity right here and then behind the entity, if the look perspective is here, behind the entity I sort of generate a, a plane and if you want to consider that this is the the lens and then this is the focal plane of the image and it sort of it starts down here and it scans it moves, so it's looking this way, and then it moves up, and then it does the same th thing, then it moves up and back, and then does it again, this time like looking down. And it scans the image, uh, moving from the bottom right to top left, but the actual image scans from top left to bottom right, because it sort of inverts it. Uh, and that generates some data in a storage space, uh, let's actually just do the, let me sort of stand here and we will just do a data capture. So as you can see all that, and then there's this here, uh, the particles marking where it finds a block. And right now this doesn't actually render any color or perspective or anything. If I do uh, this, you can see that it just renders two colors, black and white. So now if I find block zero, zero, um, this is really laggy right now. Like this is not optimized in the slightest. So if I take uh, an image with the take picture function, uh, this is really laggy uh, whenever it actually renders the image because there's a lot of negative spaces. And right now, as, as I said, this is a prototype. So it's really, really laggy. If you look over here on the sidebar, it's still rendering. It's just on the last phase. It's actually generating the image onto the sign. And um, this is going to be very, very laggy for me. If I could get like a slab or something to stand on to look at it. Um, and there we are. So it's just a purely black and white image. It's more or less just a silhouette. White is whenever it doesn't detect a block, and black is when it does detect a block. And I've made this fairly modular to the point where I run a function whenever it detects a block, and then off of that I can generate a texture. Uh, that's sort of the plan. Uh, moving forward with this, I want to make this sort of display perspective, and I also want to make it not tank my Minecraft down to 3 FPS. Uh, so that's where this is at currently. I just sort of wanted to show it off where it is right now, even though it is not impressive in the slightest. Um, but yeah, this just generates a, a silhouette of what you were looking at. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably have a better version of this up in the future. Hopefully this doesn't end up like what the text-to-speech was where I said I'll probably work on it and then never actually continued because it was just so crappy. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.